It is his source for political advice, his recruiting ground for top advisors, a favorite pastime in the West Wing. But today, President Trump is lashing out at Fox News, tweeting the conservative outlet, quote, isn't working for us, arguing his supporters have to start looking for a new news outlet. Uh, this after a segment featuring a DNC official. So with me now, Carl Cameron. He covered politics for Fox News for more than two decades, and now he's helped create and now works for the progressive news site Front Page Live. So Carl, a pleasure. Nice to have you on. Thanks, Brooke. It's a pleasure, too. So the, the sense of betrayal that the president seems to have, why do you think he feels this way? Where does it come from? His ego. Oh, come on. That's the easy one. <laughs> uh, the, the problem with this is that he is effectively telling Fox viewers to boycott Fox News. Uh, we have to find another outlet, he said. Uh, so that's pretty radical even for him. And what he really means is, I need to have more opinion people who will espouse my opinion because his clash came part of the news department of Fox News Channel and they were simply talking to Democrats because, by the way, Democrats are part of the election that's coming next year, so it's a good idea to talk to their candidates and talk to their party leaders. You mentioned those who opine, and I want to get back to that, but when you, when you read the part of the tweet where he says, Fox isn't working for us, the pronoun us, is, is, is that Trump sort of indirectly acknowledging that he, he thought Fox was an arm of the Republican Party or even an, an arm of his own administration? That's the kind of thing that makes the news department at Fox News, where I worked for a number of years, sick to their stomachs. Uh, news people Why? don't like to hear that sort of stuff. Uh, the entertainment side, on the other hand, is vastly different, and it's a threat to them. He's basic, Trump is basically challenging the Sean Hannity's of Fox News to beat up on the journalists. Uh, that's not going to work either. You, you left in 2017, given what you saw. Do you agree with the president's view that the network, or maybe even some of its hosts, have become an arm of the administration? I think there's no question that conservative television hosts tend to support Donald Trump. Uh, of course, you see Bill Crystal here on CNN, but there isn't a lot of never Trumpers who get a lot of TV time. Unfortunately, the administration and most of the Republicans in Congress are supporting him, even though most of them understand that Trump's values have nothing to do with the values they grew up in in the Republican Party. You mentioned a second ago the opinion host, and right, we know in the TV world that, that Fox has worked to really distinguish between what's opinion and what's news, sort of daytime versus who we, who we watch at night. But the problem is, Carl, it's, it's difficult for a viewer to differentiate that. And, and today, is, is Trump's behavior not the perfect example of this? Oh, sure. And it's not the first time. He complained about Fox polls recently because the Fox polls showed that he was losing some ground. And that was a, a couple of weeks, maybe even a month ago. But there's a new Quinnipiac poll that comes out today that shows that he is down in some serious categories. And in the, for, for the first time in the Quinnipiac poll, he is underwater, as we say, which means people oppose him more than support him and believe now, for the first time in the Quinnipiac poll, that the economy is not going well, it's going worse. Uh, and those are the types of polls that Fox was doing all along. Fox has good polls, and Trump doesn't like it because it doesn't reflect well on him. This is a crybaby president who wants to bully because he can't find solutions. <laughs> On that point, you know, one thing I can't get over in this era, this climate, is the glaring hypocrisy, right? So you take a news item, you know, a huge scoop in the Washington Post today, and I'm going to change the, you know, it would be Trump, but I'm going to say this. If then-President Obama actually told aides to take any border land they needed, fast-track, you know, a border wall for construction, and then he would pardon them if, if they get in trouble, which is, let's just remind everyone, against the law, an abuse of power and an abuse of eminent domain, Fill in the blank for me. Sean Hannity would say... Go for blank. it. Just Sean Hannity would say, go for it. Break the law. He'll, he'll pardon you. If it were uh, President Obama? No, no, no. No, of course, of course not. If no, he, I'm if saying if it were... I'm saying no, flip, that would be flip, the, flip the script. That would be treason and they would Thank lock you. up the entire administration. Of course. Uh, insofar as it's Trump, he's going to say, go for it. Uh, I mean, I don't know that. We're speculating. But the, po the, the point of all of this is that the president has... Uh, huge disregard for the values of American history and the traditions that have gotten us to the point where he ended up becoming a president. Uh, and he is absolutely devouring them every day. It's a voracious attack on 
American exceptionalism, America's role as a leader in the world, uh, the equality that American ethos was originally supposed to be born on. Look, there were problems. We had to put in amendments. We had to have a Civil Rights Act in order to stop some of the unequality in this country. But there's always been an effort to progress forward. Trump, Trump's idea of progress is what lines his pockets, and that is not politics.